I'm going to start with a couple first round picks. They have all their first round picks moving forward. Cal Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, mm -hmm. Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart. Can I interest you in a 21 year old <laughs> center who had 24 <laughs> points and 16 <laughs> rebounds last night? <laughs> Ibaka Zubats? You put it all towards the table. So you just say anyone table. you want, anything you want. Absolutely, but. Is there anyone who's off? The, I mean, aside well, from LeBron. <laughs> no. Is there? <laughs> LeBron, and, and of course, you know, they're not going to trade away some of these veterans that they brought in to be part of something special. Rajon Rondo, uh, Tyson Chandler, uh, those guys are, are certainly safe. But those. If Bill Depp says he wants Tyson Chandler. <laughs> I think, I don't know what the rules are about how many times you can get traded in one season. too late. <laughs> Here's how the Lakers offer can be enhanced. Okay. If our guy, Anthony Davis, decides to not just ride the wave of what Kyrie and Kawhi mm -hmm. and Paul George uh, and all these guys have done, where they, they let it be known through back channels they want out. But he says, I want out, and I'm going to put my name and my voice to it, and I want to go to the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Not Rich Paul telling reporters yeah. about that, mm -hmm. but this is out there, and now if some buyer beware, if you're going to trade for me, this is an issue. And the media are going to ask me about it, and it's going to be a distraction, it's going to be a problem. Why would you trade for that? Now, I don't know if Anthony Davis has that type of personality, but this could be the next kind of stage in player empowerment when it comes to forcing your way into a new situation. And, and I mean, look, we didn't think necessarily he was going to do this before the trade deadline. So we don't know what he's going to do or say. Now, Byron, you have a very good friend named uh, yeah, Magic yeah. Johnson, who you Urban. won three of those championships with. Yeah, saw him this morning, matter of fact. Saw just, <laughs> this <morning>. <laughs> <laughs> just this morning. And I know that you were a good friend and did not start throwing trade demands and possibilities no. at him. No. But you can do it now. He's had a few <laughs> hours. What would you like to see them give up? For, because, you know, obviously, even if they get him, you need to have a team after this. So right. what do you think they should give up for AD? I, I think everything that Dave just said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they <laughs> should give picks. up. draft picks. Yeah, draft picks. I mean, you're going to have to, the, the pot's going to have to be sweetened. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about that. And, and they have some of the assets to do that. They have some of the trade, I mean, some of the uh, uh, picks to do that as well. So I think you got to throw it all in, the whole kitchen sink, you know, right away. I don't think you mess around with it and try to say, you know, we'll give you this, this, and this, and then they have to come back and say, we don't want that. Then you have to go back to the table again. It, it was, it was, it was very peculiar to me this morning when I saw Irvin. You know, we always do our handshake and our hug, and we talk a little bit, and you know, life is good and everything's good. And all of a sudden, he ran out of the, you know, ran out of the gym. <laughs> all right, BLC. I said, all right, Buck, where you can get out of here? You know, there's something going on. You know, now you know. So I go to my bed, you know, go to my locker, and obviously get my phone to see. Oh, Anthony Davis requested a trade. So, I, I knew it was all in the works. Yes. And, you know, as a good friend of my main man, Irvin Magic Johnson, who I know will get this done, I would say throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Are you, are you confident, I mean, as Byron is, that he will be as aggressive as he would need to be? Because there's a lot waiting for the Pelicans on other sides if there, yeah, there, they there, want to. There's a reason to be extra aggressive right now because you know the most competitive offer isn't on the table by mm -hmm. virtue of the CBA, right? If you let this get past February 7th, you're basically saying, I'm waiting for Danny H to mess this up somehow. Yeah, and Danny you know, A doesn't happen. have a track record yeah, of messing these happening. things up, right? Mm -hmm. That ain't and so if you're the Lakers, if you're the Knicks, if you're any one of these other teams, this is the most aggressive offer you're going to give because you want to give Dell Demps basically say, look, this is a great deal in front of me right now. Do I play two in the bush versus one in the hand? I don't want that. I want to make sure that our future is solidified. Now, the picks are a big part of it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two first-round picks to me if I'm Dell Demps. That's the minimum. I, we got to start there because, again, going to Boston, they've got their own picks. They've got a Memphis pick that's very lightly protected. They've got that Sacramento kind of pick. Right. They've got a Clippers pick. They've got a bunch of first-rounders. So everyone who's in the sweepstakes got to get to it now. I mean, do you get the feeling you mentioned Rajon Rondo, and I think that he's sort of an X factor here. Of course, LeBron is going to be putting the full court press on, but Rajon and AD were so tight when they were in New Orleans, and I certainly see some text messages being exchanged there. Do you get the impression that Lakers management is more willing to part with assets than, say, when the Paul George opportunity came up or when the Kawhi Leonard opportunity came up? Oh, absolutely. I think, one, because they see the way that went down, and they haven't admitted it publicly, but I'm sure some people in El Segundo think that, mm, Maybe we should have done that. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, the best basketball Anthony Davis ever played, you know, the playoff success has been with Rajon Rondo as a teammate. Yeah. So I, mean, I think that's a strong person in his ear, I would have to imagine, beyond LeBron, beyond Rich Paul.